So the endocrine system is like a very delicately balanced ecosystem. I mean, the whole human body is, is a self-contained ecology, and the endocrine system in itself is a very complex, very delicate part of that. And I don't claim to understand everything about it because it's pretty complicated. But like any ecosystem, if you mess with one aspect of it, other aspects will be affected. And these uh, trans pseudoscientists who think that you can just give a child, you can block a child's puberty, or you can give a man enough estrogen, he'll grow breasts and his body will be demasculinized, or give a, a young woman testosterone and her body will be defeminized, she will have all of those repercussions. To think that that is all that is happening, it, it's, it's hard to believe that these doctors are, are that naive. I, I think uh, maybe if, if general practitioners who don't have much endocrine sophistication are prescribing this stuff, um, then they may not know what really could happen. And indeed, you know, uh, UCSF's guidelines say that any person working in a medical clinic, a physician assistant, a nurse, they even say a naturopath, which is bizarre, is qualified to prescribe wrong sex hormones for life to anybody. So they, they may not understand endocrinology, but there's, there's an impression among these doctors that you're helping these patients because all you're doing is changing the way that they look. Well, it's not as simple as that because all of your other organs are affected. Your brain is affected. The way you think is affected. Um, the way your body metabolizes is completely different. You have long-lasting, lifelong repercussions. And in my case, um, as you can see, I still have large breasts. They don't go away if you stop taking estrogen, if you're a man, they stay. Um, if, if I lost a little weight, they might go a little bit smaller, but really no, you know. Uh, my body also is just different. It's, the fat distribution has stayed and it just won't change. You know, if I, if I, maybe if I worked out every single day or something and got extremely muscular, maybe I would look a little different, but you know, that's, that's how it is. Now for women, I think it's actually worse because women's voices change. And so a woman with a very sweet uh, soprano voice will have a voice like mine or, or even deeper. A woman's soft face will grow a heavy beard and it will not go away if she stops taking testo testosterone.